place. Let me finish the story. So I look down at this face full of freckles, which has to be all of five years old. And he looks up and he says, I want some Easter flowers for my mom. So I show him the shop and he points to some mums and he says, how much? And I say, how much do you have? And he says, I got nine cents and my pet turtle. So I let him have the flowers. Who could resist a kisser like that? No, I didn't take the turtle. <laughs> Oh, I got a customer. I gotta go. No, we're going to the kids' house tomorrow night for dinner. I'll talk to you Monday. Goodbye. Yes, sir. May I help you? You can step away from the register, old man. Please, mister, take anything you want. I won't give you any trouble. Move. Turn around. Hands against the glass. That's smart. Very smart. Against the gun, how smart do I have to be? Is this all there is? Where's the rest of it? Please, mister, there isn't any more. Turn around. Mister, I won't say anything. Turn around, old man. I want to see your face. I want to see if you're lying to me. Did I wake you? No, I was just lying here with three over six broads who were fighting for my body. Relax, girl. It's just an obscene phone call. Well, never mind about your problems. I got problems of my own. My buggy blew a gasket. Hello? My car blew a gasket, Dell. I'm gonna be at the beach all day. Do you hear me? That's all right. I... I think I can live without you for one day. Terrific. Tell Mackerman, huh? Oh. Better he choose my head off, huh? Come on, Dell. You know how to push his buttons. Give me a break. Yeah, okay. Listen, Bill, I'm sorry if I woke you. Who is this? Yeah, this is Paul Shonsky. I'm sorry if I woke you, all right? It's all right. I had to get up to answer the phone anyway. Have a nice day. Happy Easter. Goodbye. Shines? Shines? What happened? We go on strike? Come, Jared. The world's getting religious. What are you doing here anyway? I traded the day with McBride for Christmas Eve and New Year's Day. Delecchio. Robbie. McGarry. What's the matter with him? Somebody forgot to leave him a jelly bean. Happy Easter. Bless you all for being here, for not coming down with the flu, undergoing a sudden pang of religious conscience. 
Last night, a lone gunman knocked over Stanky's florist on West Centennial and killed the owner five minutes before closing. The weapon was a 38. That sounds like the same animal that hit the drugstore last Friday. Ballistics matched the slugs. And this time we got lucky. Stanky's wife caught the plate number. Blue Plymouth, registered to an old friend. Joey Scarpino. Back in town and back in business. And you can forget the address for motor vehicles. The car was registered upstairs. The woman actually see Joey? No, just the car. Prince? Zip. Skimpy, very skimpy. Find him with the gun and it fattens up a lot. If he doesn't find out we're after him, if he doesn't ditch the weapon. Then may I suggest you keep your head down and make sure he doesn't find out? Here's a list of known associates from his yellow sheets. Hey, Gaffer, you and Robbie take the first half. Del Vecchio, you and Tenet. I have been working all night. My shift's up in an hour, and frankly, my wife and kids have been looking for All right, to... all right. I'll scrounge up a partner for you, Ed. Go back here. You and Shonsky. Ooh, Lieutenant, uh, about Shonsky. Where is he anyway? He uh, had car trouble up the coast. Oh, terrific. I got eight guys out with the flu, a dozen more parading around in the Reister suits, and the Prince of Poland can't get his pig started. What's the big deal? You give me half the list. Del Vecchio the other half, and we hit the streets. That's all. No, I don't want anyone out alone on this. He's already killed two people. Del Vecchio, McCaffrey, I now pronounce you man and wife. Goodbye. OK, what do we got? OK. Gas station over on Washington. The owner's name is Artie Cravens. Did a year with Scarpino in the youth facility. Sheet says he's been clean for over a year. Sheet said that, huh? Why, you say different? I hope you make a better lawyer than you do a cop. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you can take that sheet and roll it into a tight little ball and file it. Once a bum, always a bum, right? Listen, about 10 years ago, Maury and I were after this punk, you know? Uh, he was a runner for a couple of big honchos on the west side. Oh, we're all ready to nail him, and then they tell us to lay off, you know? So the next thing I know, he's going to college, med school. You know where he is now? County hospital, chief resident. So? I'm still waiting. Yeah, he'll be in a second. Marty, baby, come on for air. Hey, what are you doing, officer? We want to talk to you about an old friend of yours. Joey Scarpino. He's no friend. He never was. Now, don't you guys ever quit? For your fairy godfather, we want to make sure that you're keeping straight and just help you stay that way. Well, I'm doing just fine. Joey Scarpino. Man, that was three years ago. Oh, yeah? Well, let's go see. Huh? Oh, come, come on. on. All righty, let's see what we can come up with here, huh? Hey, you wouldn't have Joey's number in there, would you? It's, that's a private book. Or some other undesirable. Say, so what do I have to do to get you guys off my back? Now, come on, will you? I got a wife and a kid and a crummy mortgage, and I put in 16 hours a day in here. Hey, uh, McCaffrey. Hey, what are you doing? That's my desk. Where's your warrant? You're supposed to... You're supposed to have a warrant. I don't have to put up with this. Hey, you keep some pretty late hours around here, don't you? What, 11 o'clock, 12 midnight? It's pretty dangerous around here. This is a lousy neighborhood. People know me. They don't give me no trouble. Oh, I'll just bet they don't. Sergeant, would you look at what the Easter Bunny brought? Do you believe your eyes? And it's loaded, too, Artie. Mr. Cravens, you realize this is a violation of your parole? Well, look, you said it yourself. It's a tough neighborhood. If I, if I close down, I go broke. If I stay open, I'm a clay pigeon. So what am I supposed to do? Try telling us about Joey. I haven't seen him, I swear. All right, Artie, you can just call your wife from the station and tell her to pack your jammies. Let's oh, go. Oh, OK, wait a second. What are we waiting for? We haven't got all day. There's a girl, uh, Andrea Geller. Her and Joey, they used to be a thing. There was no Geller on the list. Well, if they didn't spread it around, a brother would have killed them. Anyway, I saw her a couple of months ago, and she said something about seeing Joey. Bingo. The hard way. 
Let's go. Wait a minute. Where are you going? To pluck our pigeon out of his coop. We don't even know if he's in there. Oh, sure, that's why he's parked over there in the driveway. Because he's down at the pier fishing for flounder. McCaffrey, we need a warrant. We need a what? Oh, come on, let's go. Wait a minute. What about the gun? Did you forget about the gun? If the gun is there, we're gonna find it. Oh, sure. Even if we have to rip up the floorboards, huh? Did you ever hear of something called proximity? Without a warrant, we have to find it on him or out in plain sight. Now, that's it. You're kidding. Look, even with a warrant, it's tough enough. I got burned on the same thing once, and for me, once is too much. Look, we kick in the door and we collar the little cockroach if he doesn't give us a chance to ice him first. Then we toss a place for the gun. We put it in a report that we found it in his pocket, okay? What the hell? Maury and I used to do this all Look, the time. Look, McCaffrey, I don't care diddly do what Maury and you used to get away with. My name is Dominic Del Vecchio. I'm your new partner. Pleased to meet you. Now, we do it by the book or we don't do it at all. Capiche? If you want a backup? Yes, I want a backup, and I want a warrant. What I don't want is this creep walking out of a courtroom because a couple of dumb cops gave him a pass out. Now, he wasted an old lady in a drugstore last week and an old man in a flower shop last night. He doesn't get to go for number three. It's our word against his. And what if the girl's in there? Whose word is it then? Okay. I'm gonna phone a judge for a warrant. It'll take about an hour. Then we get Scarpino and we get the gun. That's the way it is, Lone Ranger. This is Sergeant McCaffrey, car 41. Go ahead, 41. Request two backup units, unmarked, plain clothes, front and rear. The dwelling at 3452 Delray Road. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, transparency uh, holders. I mean, you love them. It's just beautiful. The whole thing, it shows you with... Uh, all, both the boys and uh, the whole crew. What do you want? Tell her you call her back. That was about uh, 45 minutes ago. All right, come on in. Lieutenant, I gotta talk to him. No, Sergeant, you gotta talk to me. He got off a shot at Scarpino. He might have hit him. Did that girl say anything? Oh, she's not talking, not yet. Meanwhile, I want to know why McCaffrey had to break Scarpino alone and why his partner was a half a block away at the time. Because I had to phone a judge for the lousy warrant, that's why. A warrant? For the gun. Look, uh, hang, uh, hang tight, Lieutenant. I'll call you back. Delvecchio! Delvecchio! Doctor. Ah, oh, Sergeant. The bullet nicked an artery. Now, I patched it up, but he lost a lot of blood. Maybe too much for a man of his age. Would you add that up for me, please? The pressure's down a little bit, but the heart's stable. I think he's going to make it. Can I talk to him? Well, not now. Maybe in a couple of hours. Yeah, call me. All right. Dr. Abrams to OB. Dr. Abrams. He spent the night. That's all. Look, I don't know. I mean, about the rest of it. Uh, what time did he come in last night? Eleven, eleven thirty. Say anything? Joey was going to Kansas City. Please don't ask me because I don't know why. So I packed him a bag. He was going out towards his car, and then suddenly this guy pulls a gun on him. He was carrying a bag? Yeah, a bag. So what? McCaffrey thought Scarpino was running for it. That's why he tried to stop him alone. Well, you would have done the same thing. I should have been there. You were going for the warrant. Good for me. Well, what do you want, to kick him the slats? You were doing your job. Stop worrying about it. Sergeant, the hospital just called. McCaffrey's awake.
They gave me three minutes. I feel like I'm on a long-distance phone call. Phone call for Lex. They took my wallet. In this place, you're lucky they don't steal your shorts. Huh. This is my daughter, May. She's down from Bakersfield. This is uh, Sergeant Del Vecchio. I'm sorry, man, but this had to happen this my way. My husband's a police officer, Sergeant. My father's been carrying a gun since I was born. I've been through this before. Listen, um... It shouldn't have gone down this way. Uh, no, wait a second. The fact is, if I'd have been there, if we knew this guy was gonna run... We didn't, so what? I'm slowing down, that's all. I just need a little exercise. My belly's puffing up like a medicine ball. I'll tell you, five years ago, I'd have drilled that creep right in his snout and said it was lousy arm. You mean you did hit him? His left arm, point blank. I saw a hit. <laughs> That's the last thing I saw. Sergeant, only one visitor at a time? Listen, hang loose. I'll drop back later. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Look, if there's anything that I could do. Oh, thank you. That's very kind, but I'll be just fine. No, thank you. Sergeant Del Vecchio? Yeah? I'm Ori Lolich. Ed and me, uh, we used to be partners. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Lolich. What went down out there this morning? Your ex-partner got shot. While his new partner was out chasing butterflies. Hey, I've been checking on you, pal. The cop who wants to be a lawyer. Why? Because the pay is better? Maybe you just meet a better class of people. Goodbye, Mr. Lolich. You had that guy nailed down in there. All you had to do was drag him out. But you got to go looking for a judge to get a lousy search warrant, leaving your partner alone. Look, we needed the warrant. Alone, Sergeant. Why do you think they send you guys out in pairs so you can play gin rummy on your lunch break? Your partner's pal. Me for you and you for me. And you don't leave your partner hanging on a clothesline with his drawers down. Without the warrant, we couldn't make a case. He had the gun on him. But what am I, a mind reader? We didn't know that. Now you do. Oh, you really are a lawyer. Tiptoeing around the streets like a girl playing hopscotch. And what did it get you? Ed's in there with a hole in his gut and Joey Scarpino's out on the street. I just hope to God he doesn't ice somebody else before you catch him. Because if he does, Sergeant, you get the blue ribbon. May I help you? 
Oh, yeah, I need some adhesive tape, mm -hmm. uh, swabs, some gauze, and some peroxide. Okay. You want large? Huh? Do you want large on the gauze and the tape? A large, yeah. Uh, fine. You expecting rain? What? Your coat. No. Hydrogen peroxide? sideways. Oh. Now try. Look, uh, Pop, give the kids a couple of bucks and I'll pay you back, all right? Pop, listen, I gotta go right now. I gotta go. I check what? the front seat of the car, Sergeant. There's blood on the left side and on the left door. <clears throat> Seems pretty fresh, too. Okay. A woman about a block over thought she saw a guy in a raincoat uh, grab a yellow cab. Phone that in, would you? Uh, I did, all right. How was she? Oh, we're gonna take some x-rays. The guy clubbed her with the gun. It could be a hairline fracture. Okay. Why? Why did it hit me? I wasn't doing anything to him. Is this the man? Oh, yes, that's him. Is this the stuff he was going to buy? Uh-huh. He's still bleeding. Yeah. Can't you really got him. Yeah. Call forensic. I want a blood type on this just for insurance. Okay, Sergeant. Dell? I thought you were out of commission. Well, I got the car fixed, and then I heard the radio about this morning, and I, I thought that maybe I could come down oh, here. Oh, your idiot cousin. Every time I want to blow my nose, you got to supply the handkerchiefs. Dell? Uh, Central, this is car 41 on that 411 at Wentworth and Gentry. Go ahead, 41. All right, the suspect has been identified as Joseph Scarpino. Photo and description have already been distributed on a prior warrant. Notify all doctors, hospitals, pharmacies. Scarpino was injured and may seek medical attention. 10 4. Yeah, look, I want to. I, I gotta. I gotta... Well, anybody's got a chance to lie around on a beach. Gets no brownie points from me, Paisan. Dell, I went to the hospital looking for you. McCaffrey's dead. He died 20 minutes ago. Die from what? Die why? Lower your voice, Sergeant. Voice? You want to hear a voice? Look, three hours ago, that man was awake and alive. Now, you told me that he was... I know what I told you. Now, look, I'm sorry. He just went sour, that's all. A man of his age, out of shape, I did what I could. Dr. Madden, Who said you didn't? You want to see the chart? It's all there. Surgical procedure, post-op procedure, right according to the book. Yeah, and he died. Is that according to the book? I'm sorry. Excuse me. Dr. Bascom, Dr. Ned Bascom to OR2. Dr. Bascom, Dr. Ned Bascom to OR2. Sergeant Delvecchio followed proper police procedure. He was not derelict in his duty, and anybody who says different is going to have to say it to my face. Take it easy, Lieutenant. I'm not accusing anybody. I'm only voicing the kind of speculation that might, and I say might, 
crop up in certain areas of the press. Then why don't you see they don't crop up? Well, you know, I can't do that. At least a little pressure from me and they'll really think there is something wrong. At the most, this is nothing more than an error in judgment. Uh, excuse me. I mean, this is an internal problem, sir. And the sergeant's report is properly worded. Captain Neiman, sir. There is no error in judgment, sir. And I don't particularly care to be treated like a 10-year-old kid with a bad report card. You think I like what happened? You think I wouldn't like to have yesterday back again? Nobody's blaming you, Sergeant. That's right, including myself. And while the wash is out on the line, let's talk about a real error in judgment. Let's talk about a 30-year cop who goes after a dangerous suspect, known to be armed, alone. And what he should have done was to tail the aforementioned subject, notify all backup units, and not try to be a damn hero. Look, I'd suggest you not put that in your report. I wasn't planning to. Look, the man's dead. There's nobody sorrier than I am. Well, I got a thing going on at the house. Uh, why don't you write up your report tonight, Sergeant? Everything you think we should know, and, and I'll look at it first thing in the morning. Uh, unofficially, of course. Just so there's no misunderstanding about how it should read. Yes, sir. Hey, why don't you go home? Why don't I get back to work? I got 40 guys out on the street already. Make it 41. I don't want you out there. Joey Scarpino's out there. I'm out there. Hey. Don't make it personal. It's a little late to be worrying about that, don't you think? Hey, that's the cab driver. Let's go. Hey, he was wearing a raincoat. Beautiful day, and this guy's got on a raincoat. Where are you getting your cab? Let's see. Yeah, I picked him up at Western and Lowell. Dell? Take a look. Right here. What is it? Looks like he was bleeding. Maybe a lot. You know, come to think of it, he was acting kind of funny. You know, like he was uh, sick or something. Where'd you take him? I dropped him off the corner of Main and 4th. Middle of downtown. Mm -hmm. Did you see which way he went? No. Thank you very much. Okay. So? So, now we turn over some rocks. Surprise! Chicken inspector is here. All right, everybody up to the party. Put your hands on the counter. Come on, choke your move it. You too, Louie. Hey, what kind of blue are you guys trying to pull here? Zip it up. Don't you guys ever get tired? Where's Pidge? Like I've been trying to tell you, a couple of your other guys hit us around 8 o'clock. Cleaned out half the joint. You know what I'm talking Pidge included. Here yeah, they ace the cop. It's too bad. Here's the barf bag that did it. Now you tell me where I can find him. Hey, man, I ain't ever seen that dude before. Yo. Yo. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Mr. See No Evil and his three pals, happy, dark, and sneezy. Man, if we knew we'd tell you, you guys come around here busting heads, I hope you catch that turkey so things get cool again. Ah, uh, excuse me, but I wonder which one of you gentlemen has found yourselves recently separated from the $12 which I found on the pool table here. $12. You boys have been playing for money? Cavecchio. Mrs. Cavelli, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that gambling for money is illegal? You're gonna force me to shut down this place and arrest these gentlemen. Think hard, boys. Jail is a terrible place. You meet a very common element behind bars. No, huh? Nobody remembers. Well, that's too bad. Wait a second. It's a picture. It's Joey Scarpino. Tell me something I don't know, Mama. Well, I can't. But maybe, maybe Pidge. What about Pidge? Last week, he mentioned Joey's name. Said he ran into him. That's all. Come on. Come on, give me a break. I'm trying to put that kid through school. You know how much that costs. Okay, now he knows my number. You tell him to call me. Should have worn your longies. Yeah. 
Hey, Rick, are you while you're freezing your butt off here all night, Pitch could have called in? No, they would have radioed us. What time is it? Same time it was five minutes ago, only five minutes later. Look, I can't add. What time is it? 6.10. Tell ease off, will ya? Scarpino's not gonna beat this one. We got him nailed down tight. He's bleeding to death. Yeah, I know. That what's bugging you? What? You'll crap out before you get to him? No. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do you mean, oh, boy? Look, I want to make this collar, all right? McAvoy was right. You're taking it personal. Well, who better? Me. There was nothing wrong with my car when I called you on Easter Sunday. I just want to spend an extra day with my wife and kids. I do what I'm supposed to do. It's not McCaffrey lying out in that lawn. It's me. Shots. Listen, I, I swear I was going to call you. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You see, you see, the thing is, I can't help you. About Joey, I mean, I saw him, like Mary says, but uh, that's about it. I, I don't know where he's hanging around. Find him. He's a bad one, Sergeant. You know that. No, Pidge, all wrong. You don't know what bad is until I get on your case. Hey, hey, come here. I'm bad. Hey, I'm just, bad all just, the way. Hey, just call, would you please? Just, I'm gonna hey. throw a shroud over that pool palace of yours. Go. I'm gonna bust every right. sucker that walks oh, in and out of that place. Right. I'm gonna hang a sign over the door that says, Pestilence, keep right. out. Even your roosters are gonna run away on you. You're okay. crazy. Okay. I want him. Okay. You understand me? I want him. Me. I want him. I don't want any excuses and I don't want any double talk. All right, that is enough. He's tired. Go in the house. He's tired. Go in the house. Go in the house. What the hell's the matter with you? Don't do that, Doc. You gotta help me, Doc. You gotta fix me up. Okay, let's go. How are you feeling? Come on. How are you feeling? What's the matter with you? I'm not gonna spend all day long driving around the crazy man. Shines, do I look crazy? Did you get any sleep? What is this, final exam week? No, no, I just wanna make sure you're okay before you talk to Pidge. What about him? His memory's starting to improve. You got a... Joy, please. I, I got a wife. I got a son in college. What I used to be, that's all you done with. it. But you need a hospital. Even then, you... Fix it. It may not mean a thing. I want to know. Tell him. Listen, you're going to leave me be, right? No more rouse. You tell me. Last night, Scarpino sacked out in the office of a sheet metal shop. A guy I know what of. What guy? So, will you know? listen? He's hurt bad. Real bad. This morning, he was asking about a doctor. Some guy that used to fix up the mob boys on the sly about 15 what years ago. What doctor? Leo Heitzman. He's got an office about eight blocks over.
What are you doing? An antibiotic to fight the infection. No, no needle. You're crazy. Just dig out the bullet, Doc. You'll never stand the pain. Try me. Real left. Okay, now, relax. He's not going anywhere. The SWAT guys will be here any minute. Not soon enough for me. You're crazy. I'll never let you take him. You do not take lessons from McCaffrey. Thanks. Look, the guy's half dead already. What's he got to lose? He'd love to take you with him, Danny. He's mine. You want to cover me? That's terrific. You don't take a hike. Still personal. Always has been.
all of a sudden it wasn't that personal anymore. Call the meat wagon. Tell them to pick up the garbage. Don't switch that remote. Coming up next, Jan Michael Vincent stars as chopper pilot cellist Stringfellow Hawk in Airwolf, right here in TV Land.